There's a lot of points. They've got double resilience. Still plays into it. <laughs> I don't know, it gets tricky, eh? It's, it's hard for people to calculate these things. They kind of mis, um, miscalculate. That's a lot of points, man. <laughs> it's funny. Still not enough. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nasty. I love movement. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together another Squirtail list for you. And the leader ability that we're going to be using is Guerrilla Tactics. It allows you to move a unit to the other row. It can be an enemy unit or an allied unit. If it's an enemy unit, we're doing two damage to it. If it's an ally, we're boosting it by two. You can use Guerrilla Tactics um, offensively or defensively in this deck. We're not really using it in any particular way. So you could use it to move some of our units around to synergize with the sentry unit that we have here. You know, and this is going to be boosting any unit that gets moved. So you can be kind of flexible with it. Um, try to use it as sparingly as possible. The stratagem that we're using is Crystal Skull. You get to boost an allied unit by four and you're giving it fail. So we have Saskia in this deck. And as you thin your cards out, you'll get in some units with important abilities. You can just give the stratagem to any one of those units. But it would usually preferably be the sentry unit here when you see it thinned out. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So to begin with, I've added Squirrel in this deck. It just comes in handy sometimes to banish a card from your opponent's graveyard on deploy. Use it as you need to during a match, all right? We have a number of duplicate Bronze Squirtle units to synergize with Saskia, which will be thinning them out. What I'd say is feature the Bronze units that you see here. Try to keep one of the copies in your deck and the other one in your hand. So as Saskia thins one out, you can play the subsequent one just to get that thinning value consistently from Saskia. But I've got the Dryads here. Basically, with all of the plays that we're doing in our deck, we want to be row stacking on the range row. And you're just playing units to the right of the Dryad. It'll keep moving to the next side and keep boosting that unit as you go. Playing two Dryads together is really good because they'll keep boosting each other at the end of your turn. We've got Pelerin here to purify a unit. We've got a number of units with important abilities, as I've already stated. But also, Pella is good to purify your opponent's defender so you can get through to it. Maybe use Leader to kill something, move something. Um, you know, we've got some control with Muzzle and Heat Wave in this deck too. So it just saves your Tall Punish on a defender. Pyrotechnician is just to synergize with Saskia for thinning, damage a random enemy unit, and self by four. Um, with these bronzes that you see here, typically we want to play them out in the first round. Because we've got a lot of, um, you know, we've got our witches that are moving, subsequent rows, dealing subsequent damage to, to each row. I think the opponent will end up row stacking to avoid that kind of damage, so red haze could come in handy. Choose an enemy unit, then damage one adjacent enemy unit by its power. So our deck will encourage row stacking by the opponent. For a bit more control, we've got Spores in here. Reset the power of a unit. Ring of Favor is very prevalent at the moment out there. Um, we know the players like to play very deep into the first round, and maybe this could be a good answer around one to hold on to. Boost unit by five, remove its lock. We've got an, a number of units with good abilities, such as Gezras, Sentry, Cat Witcher, Dryad. In a deck like this with so many units which have these kinds of abilities, I think it's okay to have Pella and an extra Purify and Ale. So just use this as you need to. Got the Cat Witcher in here. At the end of your turn, move self to the other row. Damage a random enemy unit on the opposite row by one. When we get to Adrenaline 3, it's doing damage 2 instead. 
So if you can try to play it within adrenaline, but most likely, you know, we're getting Sasuke to thin these out, so it's gonna be early on in the match. Sentry units, it's ranged row that we're looking to play it on. Whenever an allied unit moves, boosted by one. So this is gonna synergize with Gezras, Cat Witcher, and the Dryad that we have. If you really need to for some um, reason, you know, if the match takes an awkward turn, you could play this melee row. And then whenever you're moving an enemy unit, damage it by one. Um, and you can use leader ability, you know, to make some extra value out of that. Got the runestone in here, just allows you to create and play a bronze Skoytal faction card. Maybe you get something good like another sentry unit, a cat witcher, uh, perhaps a dryad. Just see what you could pull with it. It's a pretty flexible card to use. Use it w when you like, freely. Double Bountiful Harvest in here. <clears throat> this is to work really with Gezras. So Gezras is going to be boosting the whole row and we need a good number of units to get max value out of it. So when you're looking to play to commit um, Gezras, you could play Simlas at that time just before you play him into Bountiful Harvest. And that will give us a good number of units and allows us to create and play a Bronze Squirtle Elf. Then depending on the position of the chosen unit, you're boosting. Okay. So Harvest Simlas into Double Harvest is kind of like, um, you know, it's either going to be round two or three, really. And like I said, it's going to be like you got Defender down, then you hit Simlas, and then you go on for Gezras. So that's kind of the line you're going to follow with that. We've got Malena in here. Works really good with Gezras to keep him protected because as you know Gezras jumps onto the melee row and when he's on the melee row he's going to be unprotected from our defender because we're row stacking ranged so what you can do with Malena is keep clicking Gezras so he just ke he keeps consistently boosting the ranged row so that's how we're looking to use Malena in here um, you can also look to offset row locked units from the opponent like kill Tullus or something like that but save this for Gezras otherwise We've just got Defender in here to give Gezras protection and all the units that are going to be played with Gezras at that time, round two or three, because this deck seems to be more of a, a two, two kind of strategy deck. You got one strategy with Saskia, and then the other part of our deck is going to be committing Gezras. Royal Decree is just for consistency. We're playing a unit from our deck. Usually Decree would get you something important like Saskia round one to get that good thinning. Gezras, Simlas, or Great Oak. For a bit of control, we've got Vigo's Muscle here. Lock an enemy unit with six or less power and you're seizing it. For some more control against scenarios, maybe resilience units or something that goes really tall, you got Heat Wave to banish. Play all copies of a bronze special card from your deck. We're simply looking to keep Bountiful Harvest in our deck, both copies. Simlas will be thinning them out and playing them right before you commit Gezras. Row stack the units on the ranged row for Gezras. We're going to try to play Gezras within Adrenaline 3 as best as possible. Basically what he's doing is he's going to be boosting our entire ranged row. And he also moves at the end of our turn so he can do damage to your opponent's melee row and boosting our ranged row. This is kind of our win condition, so you're committing this when you're looking to win the match, really. Round two or three play. Got the Great Oak in here. Damage an enemy unit by the number of cards to the left of Great Oak. Then boost self by the number of cards to the right of Great Oak. Seems to play decent in a deck like this because, you know, you've got Saskia that is thinning a lot of cards to the same row. We're row stacking with Saskia. Then we've got Simlas and Gezras kind of style of play. So I think Great Oak can still play decent in this deck. For these provisions, feels pretty good. Gives us extra control. Um, you could use it round one or when you're committing Gezras. Use it flexibly. And then yeah, with Saskia on deploy, basically what happens is Saskia is going to be thinning out random bronze Squirtle units of ours. Um, and she'll keep thinning out units that we don't have, okay? So if we've got a Dwarf, she's not going to thin another Dwarf out. She'll go for like a Dryad, maybe a Witcher. So keep that in mind for max thinning value. 
Um, keep one copy of each bronze in deck. And then as you see her thin one of those types of bronzes out, like whether it's a dwarf or dryad, you play the other one from your hand. So you keep getting her value. She's around one card. So that's a rundown of the list. Now I'm just going to explain how to execute the strategy for this deck as best as possible. So round one, how you'd like to open up is pretty much play Saskia. Um, you'd stratagem any one of these kinds of units here, the Dryads, these two as well. And then as you thin a bronze out with Saskia, you play the other bronze that you haven't thinned out. Um, you can look to commit some specials like Red Haze perhaps, uh, Rune Stone, maybe some control like Oak or Muzzle just to get round control. And then, as I said, this deck really only has two parts to it. So if your hand looks really good after getting round control and you're going into round two, you can go for the 2-0. And the way you do that really is all you're passing going for a long round three. In any event, what you're going to do is you play Defender. Then you're going to play Simlas into Bountiful Harvest. You're doing this all in the range row. Um, then from there, you can maybe look to commit some control until Gezras falls within adrenaline range. Then you're going to play Gezras. Then you're going to play Malena to synergize with Gezras. And you just play your remaining cards out and leader. And hopefully that's enough to win you the match. But just bear in mind, it's just there's just two parts to this deck. It's not like the other ones where you can kind of bleed and you got a short round three potential. It just seems to be two styles to play. So I hope you're going to enjoy the following matches and please share your feedback down below. Okay, so we're coming up against Mahakam Forge. Dwarf deck. Good. Go search for Saskia first. Nice. So I can go play the other Dryad now, knowing that we've thinned that copy out. Chariot. I might save stratagem for something else. These are likely to go pretty tall. Skirmisher. Probably gets a cat witcher out. Dwarf. It's pretty good tempo for them. Maybe we play this one out. There's a lot of points now. They must pass, right? Really? There's a lot of points. They've got double resilience. Still plays into it. <laughs> I don't know, it gets tricky, eh? 
it's it's hard for people to calculate these things. They kind of miss um miscalculate. That's a lot of points, man. <laughs> it's funny. Still not enough. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nasty. I love movement. <laughs> that's still not enough, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big bro. This deck, we're gonna bleed it like crazy. Like, we've got some control to deal with some of their cards. But I think it's better just probably 2 0 them. Yeah, a thousand points. Some takes an interest in now what? Look at that. Muzzle's so good with Ale and Pella in this deck. I really like it. Because it's not like a wasted unit when you pull it. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Hold the line, Kyan! Think so, Baron? Dirty combo. A lot of people don't like it. Thanks for giving me Oak. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oak's a great pull for us. They're helping thin our deck. It's good. So I think our best chance is like out tempo them here in the first. That's what I plan to do. Dryads with the sentry units are a ton of points. Needs one extra thin. Not having Vial. I don't play Vial much. You guys reckon Vial's a good card? Oh, Who wants a carrot? Right, here we go now. Watch the points pop off. Should be this, right? It's going to be a lot of points now. It's good for Priestess. Uh, yep. Do not test oh, <laughs> yo, we can muzzle that. That's a massive muzzle, and then we can go Aeol onto it. Oh my gosh. This is going to be insane. <laughs> Let me unlock it. Let me unlock it, come on. You know what? 
I'll probably just win on even. I think it's safer. I wanted to do it, but I won't be greedy. <laughs> it's getting dirty. <laughs> it would have been nice to do it. Oh man, I didn't get the cards I want. Seriously. We're not devotion. That's so unlucky. I'm supposed to bleed the crap out of him, but I can't like this. Man. Um, it's it's just a filler in the deck. You could go for something else if you want. It might be able to help you get a good unit. Bronze card like sentry, maybe that. To slay dragons. Maybe some more combo cards. We gotta try to do something here, guys. Something. Somehow. We're just gonna try to make him waste cards, I guess. I'm just gonna play all my crappy stuff. See, what we needed now was Simlas and Gezras. And then I would've went big time 2-0. Yeah. Hello value. The realm of the living severs your chain. Abandon now your mortal stain. Yeah, feel free to amend it how you like, man. Whatever you reckon's good. That's snow dropped out. Thanks for the feedback, appreciate it. It's always welcome, man. Never consider myself an expert or a master. I'm happy to, um, you know, look for new ways of doing things. It's good. Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate that. Can we get card advantage? Thank you. We gotta stay wise guys. We have to play it smart here. This puts us in a card advantage spot if I want. Okay. Well, you know what? We got some good things out. I feel we did get some good things. Really now? It could be worth heat wave here. Or should I save it? Maybe we're saving heat wave for troll later. All right. Get a few combos out. No. 
Simlas Gezras. You can do it. Come on. Yes! Ask and you shall receive. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate it. That's fantastic, guys. Easy. Easy, guys. You just gotta have faith, man. That's all it is. You just gotta have faith. If you got faith, you'll manifest it. That's how it works. Up the tree you go, lad. Quick now. Retrieve my bolt. Come on, lad. Get the bolt. Stop messing around. Rose stack for me, lad. Come on. <laughs> uh, we're gonna hit Simlas. That's it. Very powerful manifestations. That's how we do it, guys. We stay positive and we get the goodness. Um, what do we got? No, not really, I guess. Probably go on this. Watch and learn. Ryan! Kezras next. What kind of witch is the strongest? Arnagard. He's the brute. There we go. They're gonna roast stack now because Gezras is going melee, so Hayes is gonna do something good, I think. Hayes should be alright here. Should play decent. Really? Wow, they, they're they very adamant on having that stick there. I, I could kill it with Haze now. Maybe I should. Even though I'm losing the Milena value on this, I think they're going to do something with this. I think I go about it like that. What do you guys think? I think should be okay. We just heat wave troll. And well, I think we're fine, aren't we? Yeah, should be good. I think we're good. We're gonna reset Gezras. Um, to boost ranged again. And then we just heat wave troll. Should be it. I think we're good. Yeah. Fantastic. All day. Yes. 45 to 31. Very convincing win.
one more feather and we're done. Enslave seven. What is this? Pushing rock. <laughs> this is like a... Is this a Colgrim kind of deck? When they play it like this? You see? You must hold between your teeth like so. Yeah, Colgrim. So if this is Colgrim... I have to save Heatwave and I have to save Pella for Defender. Yeah, win round one and then we just go a long round or what's better to do? Yeah, I work for the police. Fun police. Hey, Dergy, what's up? Oh yeah, move Defender, we could do that too. Yep, yep. Can't sleep? Sorry to hear that, my friends. I think my Gwen can help you go to sleep. <laughs> In a good way, I hope. In a good way, yep. Style. That's right. I like fighting with style. I mean, we're up by a lot of points here, man. Is a pass considerable? My prescription. This is a lot of points. Oh, the damaging our movement. Honestly, it's a so. They're doing three points of damage. There's a lot of points, man, and we're thinning again. I don't know. I like to pass at these times, I'm telling you. I don't mind the pass. A weak hunt. Don't eat your goalless. You reckon don't? We'll see. Yeah, I've got Heatwave, so we just move Defender and Heatwave Colgrim right away. Like, I don't even need Pillar. What in the world are we seeing here? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yes, we thinned. We thinned. Oh, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> on one card, man. Why are you playing your last card? Don't do it. You're fine. You got the points. <laughs> They're about to play their last card too. They got stressed. What's up, Hugo? Nice to meet you. It's in Slave 7. <laughs> Alright, we're getting rid of this. Oh, the milling as well. Oh, they freaking. They actually screwed my simlas. No way. Guys, they stuffed my simlas. 
I might as well play it now. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? I could drown you in a single drop. Spit it out already. I don't have all day. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I think I'm taking that. They can hide, but there is no escape. Should be good. Sup, Chris, tell you, my friends. What? Okay. All right. <laughs> Guys, we got an eight pound pillar here. He, he means business. He's going to purify you. <laughs> he will absolutely purify you, this pillar. Uh, we good. Yeah, I'm all thanks, my friend. Oh, actually, that's... Okay. It's in Slave 7. Yeah, we just go pill off, and that's it. Game over. Forfeit incoming. But it's the rich what we need to free this world ever free. There we go. They can't replay it because we're gonna heat wave. Should be it. Yes. Uh, that's good. Hold the line. Play bounty deck against your imprisonment. <laughs> you know, I thought it was you because I saw the name. I was like, man, that name is familiar as. Is it really that person who visits my stream? <laughs> but thanks for the match, you smashed me, man. Honestly, you thrashed me so badly. That was, it, was, it was a deck I was planning on releasing, but I couldn't get it to go. <laughs> I was trying to do um, an Emperor, I think they're called Emperor Enforcers. Those units that gain charges when um, spying's applied to your opponent's units. No chance, man. <laughs> Um, oh okay, yeah, let's see. Maybe this is good here. Humans are scum. I prefer elves. War. The seven. So the seven for four dwarves. So put more dwarves in the deck, you think? Okay. Wow, they're getting tempo fast here. Perhaps I play this. Bash, bash. 
I don't know if I want to go lead it just yet. Skirmishes for more control. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the match, gang. GG, you smashed me fair and square, dude. Wow. Very good tempo. Gonna see she who knows which apprentice Hopefully this gets us out of the round. Kind of have to push it a bit there. If it's she who knows, we just heat wave it. Triple gurney. We're gonna find out, my friend. I could even purify um the uh, witch apprentice there. That's some pretty good value, isn't it? Good that we got Ale and Pella when we're playing Muzzle. You get some good, good value. Alright. So we're going up by two, three, four. Maybe passing. We'll see. It could be a good pass. So, you know, we've got some points happening here. You've got to consider the points. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Second pillar. This is the strength of these movement decks. You can catch people off guard on the passes. Come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? I don't, I don't think I'm pushing with his hand, honestly. I wanted to. I think a longer round's good for us either way. Because, you know, I need Simlas and Gezras together. Maybe I can make him waste some things, I don't know. Could have messed with Mamuna. Looks like they're wasting a bit. Lemons, we don't really care about it. Not really. Uh, 
One more further and we're done. Skilliga, yeah. I think we just keep this hand now and we pass. So we just want Gezras, Simlas, Malena. Sp spores, maybe. Uh, hmm. Okay. Heat wave it. <sighs> yep, maybe that was a good call. Yeah. You know what? We'll probably do that. Yeah. I think that's a good call. I agree with that. Self feeder. I mean, should I just go Simlas at this point? Maybe it's Simlas over Gezras. I think Simlas. Because we've got Oak. Gezras is maybe a bit too slow. More than Gez? Yeah, at this stage, I think so. We should probably do it now to get Witch Apprentice value too. Blueberries, blueberries, the lady of the woods. Let's have a look. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? Hopefully we kill that um, self meter. Oh, that could be. All right. I'm doing very well, thanks, Ash. How about yourself? I think we just got it. <laughs> um, hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we, we could just go damage. That's fine. That's it, right? Ah, oh, yes. Nice. That was good. Hell yes. Oh, it's not good. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it, my friend. Geralt Igni sends his regards. 
I hope he doesn't sizzle you too much. Mosh, thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Really appreciate it. How's things been for you? Nice to see some refreshing decks as always. Thank you. I always play off meta. Try to keep it fun for you guys. Appreciate the kind words. Yes, make sure you go and follow Mosh. He's streaming heaps lately. Appreciate it, man. You're too kind. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for supporting the growth of my channel. This looks good here. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thank you so much for the follows. Really appreciate that. Payday. The girth of my channel. <laughs> ah, classic. Okay. <laughs> One of the girthiest streams. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. We've got underage people playing Gwent. There's youngsters who play this game. <laughs> Gotta keep PG. <laughs> they should be in bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on time zone. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're probably gonna see um what's his name? Cleaver in this deck. Good hit. Humans are scum. I prefer elves, dwarves. <laughs> Make the stream less wholesome. All right, it's good for us. Pretty easy first round. See you, Mosh. Take care. Thanks for the raid again, dude. Good. Can we get Gezras? No, we can't. If I don't have access to Gezras, I'm not sure if I'm going to push. It's kind of a two round deck, this one. At the same time, line pockets. They've got a lot of control. Card layover, not that I know of. <laughs> How's that for your lunch? Spice up a trap deck. I've got a lot of trap decks. I could show you plenty. Yeah, go on church, dude. Time of the family. Um, family lunch. Yeah.
depends on the religion i guess as well orthodox celebrated at a different time okay so now we've got all the cards we need but like i said long round against line pockets is a bit sus too And that's it. We've got everything. See how it goes. What are you going to be doing for Easter? You're going to see family members too? Yep, yep. <laughs> Lots of food. That's it, man. That's it. We're the same. Pretty similar cultures. We're the same, man. So, I guess we're opening up with Defender first, aren't we? I don't know how we're going to go long round against control. Usually you want to avoid it, but like I said, my deck's a two round deck. It doesn't really have that extended rounds potential. It's probably a muzzle. Yeah, good muzzle. Yep, yep. Baron, what's up, my friend? Welcome, dude. Tunnel drill's like really sketchy if unanswered, hey? You have to get rid of it when you see it. So skew tooth, yep, sure. Maybe Simlas next. I'm sure we're going to see Cleaver from them. Haze could work pretty good against Cleaver. I mean, they're roast deck. Spender. We could get rid of the Spender with Haze as well. Or do we we not care about that? Might wait on a bed target for Haze. Oak gives us a bit of extra reach with control. Yeah. 
see Jekyll. Could be a heat wave target eventually. Yeah, I work for the humans. Better than working for humans. We're gonna go Simlas. We're gonna set up our row. Then we're gonna hit Gezras. Maybe turn after. Maybe it's gonna be Milena first. We could kill the Sea Jackal. Or maybe we kill the um, the Millie Rose Spender and they can dump their coins in the Sea Jackal, make it a good heat wave target. Savola. No one can stop the Salamandra. No one. I think now we go Simlas. Get the harvest out, see what we pull with it. Yeah, the um, token units, good heat wave target for sure. If we get an archer, it would be really good. Doesn't really work. Um, I think it's this. Thank you for the Prime subscription, really appreciate that my friends. Means a lot. Gezras is going to be really good now. Pickpocket. Thank you so much for cheering me, the 100. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Crest. I'll see you around, buddy. Just gonna use Malena to reset Gezras. Oak's a pretty good finish coming up.
So we're gonna be fully stacked. Oak's great at 11 here. It's definitely going to be a nice point slam. Heatwave's a good bit of control at the end of the match. Even if Gezras works in melee row, it's fine. The blacksmith? Oh... Defender saved Gezras there. Yeah, I think it's a good call. Because they could dump their coins into... Um, what's his name, right? KOB. Because otherwise they can spread it around. Really? You think so? Why? They're actually ahead. Maybe they had a crap card last? Why would they rage quit? They did. 